night, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles, ten, the elders of the GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful link out there pushing his word and truth, and the sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here, Shalom, one, to the hopeful link, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, by Shem Al Shai. And what I want to get into um, this morning is temporary death, okay? Being raised in glory, all right? And as we, you know, really see, you know, because pretty much one thing about it, the YouTube, the internet has exposed the minds of a lot of people. Now, I want to deal particularly with people, our people that know that they're Israelites. You know, other camps, other organizations, other congregations that know that they're Israelites. And you can tell now that a lot of our people really don't get the concept of what's going on or what's happening. The process, okay, that's leading to salvation. You see? You see a lot of our people still have a lot invested into this current world, okay? In the mindset of making the most and investing and being engulfed with this current world, okay? And they look at those who are pretty much, have put off this society, have pretty much become dead to this world. You know, now they look at that as boring because they really don't understand the concept of what's going on. And that's why when you read the scriptures, Yahweh Shai's death, okay, was symbolic, okay, to what we would have to do to be raised in glory. Because Yahweh Shai had a temporary death, okay? And then eventually, what? He was raised up to glory, to immortality, okay, to rulership and dominion, which he's going to... Uh, 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 state claim to that dominion when he comes back, but it's already here. Let's read Dave the 17th chapter how everything was given to Yahweh Shah. But Yahweh Shah had to live that one lifetime where he was dead to this world. They tried to make him king, he, he, he didn't want to, he want that clout or that status. Okay, he had spiritual powers, he could have been popping in Rome, but he he wasn't there for that, okay? He wasn't in tune with the Roman culture and society, okay? He was all about what? His father's business, okay? And then he had to be that sacrifice. Man, I'm just passing the name tag. License plate 144. And then it say man, he goes into a yash. Okay, 144. But, uh, but when your house shot was here, he knew he had to live a certain way. He wasn't, you know, he knew that he had to be locked in to complete the mission. Okay? And then he received everything. And he didn't only receive everything for us, I mean for him, he received everything for us as well. All right, his brethren. Okay? That was part of the joy that was set before him. He became dead to this world. Just like the joy that's set before us, we become dead so we can be as efficient and proficient as possible, okay, within the ministry, okay? Because we have an eternal kingdom to look forward to. Jake doesn't, like when the scriptures say, these are they that put off the mortal and put on the immortal, it begins with a mindset, okay? Because a lot of our people that know they're Israelites, they try to incorporate worldly things and all these gimmicks because they feel like they're missing out. Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. 
I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a quick lesson, you know, pretty much uh, laying back enough of the energy uh, of the beloved brother Yashamath uh, out of the Great Millstone, Mississippi branch. And earlier he made a lesson, a live stream going into, uh, you know, this temporary death, man, is nothing compared to the glory we're about to come into, man. You know, and again, just to reiterate what he had said, a lot of you, Jake, that know you're Israelites, you don't under, you don't really, you don't really grasp the reality or understand the gravity of work um, that's necessary, you know, to get to those chariots, man, or to get to the, to, to get to, to get to be part of that first resurrection. You know, we have to plow. You know, we're gonna a hey, scripture says a righteous man falls seven times. Right, but gets back up. You know, we're in this flesh. We are gonna fall. We are gonna have mishaps. You know, but our mindset, you know, shouldn't be founded on the ways of this current world. Understanding that this place is gonna pass away with fervent heat. Okay, as it's written in the book of um, what's that? Second Peter. See, this place is gonna be destroyed, man. So our priority, our main mindset. Should be on Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We should be abiding in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, this brother, he left off on um, Colossians, the third chapter. You know, he left us with that. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's where I want to pick it up at. Right? The book of Colossians, the third chapter. All right? And it reads, we're going to start from the top and get to the point. Right? The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 1. And it reads, if ye be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. And this destroys the Trinity doctrine. This scripture alone, this one scripture right here, destroys that Trinity doctrine. I just want to throw that out there. All right, giving, showing separation between the Father and the Son. And another, another, another precept that disannuls that is uh what's that? Let's get this real quick. Not the not to switch gears, but just to make a point. The book of Acts chapter seven. Real quick, when Stephen was uh being stoned by wicked Jake. Uh, let's see. I'll start in verse fifty five. The book of Acts chapter seven and verse fifty five, and it reads, "But he right Stephen, being full of the Holy Spirit." looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai standing on the right hand of Yahweh. You see that? And said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of Yahweh. Just, you know, further proof, <laughs> you know, that the whole Trinity doctrine that these wacky tacky Christians believe in is false. That's false doctrine. I just want to throw that out there. Right? Let's continue on in the book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 1. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Why? Because this current eon is going to pass away. Everything we see around us, specifically here in Babylon, is going to be burnt up. Other areas of the earth are going to be hit too and take part in that, uh, <laughs> thermonuclear fallout via war, World War Three, you see, but hey, Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be that lake of fire that John the Revelator saw, man. Let's get this real quick. Let's get that Second Peter. Let's get that Second Peter real quick. The book of Second Peter, the third chapter. And um, I believe the brother brought this out as well. Hey, but we're gonna get it again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right, the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 11, and it reads, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, and how are they going to be dissolved? Again, through that thermonuclear fallout, 
when World War III takes off and ICBM missiles, intercontinental ballistic missiles, the weapons of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai's Aid Nation are shot to and fro throughout the planet Earth, okay, with 200 million of them coming right here to Babylon the Great, pursuing the biblical prophecy, man. <laughs> you see? There's going to be 200 million, uh, over 200 million warheads that hit Mystery Babylon the Great, man, via biblical prophecy. Thus says the Lord, man. What manner of persons ought ye to be in holy conversation and godliness? Right. How are we supposed to be conducting ourselves? Are we supposed to be locking in, you know, on trying to uh, make a foundation here in Babylon the Great, try to buy land and, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, set our hopes on uh, a, a career path to leave some uh, substance left for our children? No, man. Don't get it twisted. You know, we have careers. You know, some brothers got houses. But guess what? We're not fixed on that. We understand we can lose that in an instant. Okay? And you better believe we're going to when uh, all hell breaks loose. When Jacob's trouble kicks off, man. And we're fleeing for our lives, man. But don't get it twisted. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be dealing. Isaiah 59 and 19 is going to kick in for those that were abiding in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, though. You see? This is critical. You know, and again, Scripture says, um, use the world, but don't abuse it. You know, you might go out with your, with your woman or with your, or with your, uh, with a, with a Akia, <laughs> you know, you may go get a drink or two, you know, do your thing. But guess what? You're not going to be s submerged in the ways of Babylon. Let's continue on looking for and hasting until the coming of the day of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the, uh, see that? The heavens being on fire. The heavens meaning what? This current power structure, man. You see? All right? The current regime that has hold of the planet Earth are the Edomites, the biblical Edomites, man. Starting with the Amalekites, the chief house of Esau, the small hats, man, the gutter rats. You see? Wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's everything you see around you. Everything you see around you is made of elements, man. You're made of elements. And if you're on if you're on the soils of Babylon, aka America, man, when this when this World War Three pops off, you're going to be turned into uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you're going to be melted down, man, for lack of better words. You're going to be eviscerated. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, right? A new government, right? Which is going to consist of Israel, starting with Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai leading the charge, King David under him, the 12 disciples, and the 144,000 men on this side that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, that's going to be the, the governing body in the eon to come, man. Eh? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens, right? A new government and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what's going to be heralded in upon the erection of Jacob. You see, it's this, this, the world is going to be being ran under all righteousness. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to make this happen. Salaki, let's go back to Colossians, the third chapter. And let's continue on. The book, of, the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 3, and it reads, For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach and Yahweh. Right, we're dead to this place, man. Again, you know, <laughs> and there's, a, there's, a, there's a nigga on, uh, on command right there. But needless to say, we're dead to this place, man. And just to reiterate what I had said, you know, don't get it twisted. You're gonna, you may use the world, but you're not gonna abuse it, though. You know, you're not gonna be, uh, you know, planning on making merchandise of the word. You know, you're not gonna be selling merchandise. <laughs> 
uh, playing with the word, you know, like some of these camps are doing out here. You know, you're not going to be out here trying to be a rapper or a wrestler. No, man. You're going to be focused on the father's business like Yahweh Shai was. See? You're going to be focusing on studying, on reading, on edifying. You're going to be focused on staying on the old path. <laughs> you know, contrary to what some of these other guys think. You know? You're going to be focused on walking that righteous path, man. Let's continue on. When Hamashiach, who is our life, see that? Yahweh Shai is our life, man. Everything should evolve around Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Everything. Shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Only if you've been abiding in him. Those that have been abiding in Yahweh Bashim is going to uh, appear with him in glory. Because remember, scripture says, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord, you know, <laughs> in that day. Yahweh Shah is going to say, well, I never knew you, man. See? Because they weren't truly abiding in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. As a matter of fact, let me get this priest up to, make, to prove that point. Uh, I want to say that's First John. Let me see something real quick. Uh, is that First John 2 and 20? Let me see. Con, this is what I want. The book of First John chapter 2 and verse 28. And it reads, And now little children abide in him. In who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Yahweh Shai. But you're not abiding Yahweh Shai. He ain't abiding you. See? That when he shall appear. See that? We may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. We don't want to be ashamed, man. We want to know in our heart, in our mind, that we've done everything we could to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we tried the best we could to stay on that righteous path, to push this work. Again, a righteous man falls seven times, man, but gets back up on that plow and keeps pushing. And it's not going to get consumed, right, by the ways of this world. See, those are the ones that are not going to be ashamed before him at his coming, man. And they're going to be ready to receive that glorious kingdom, man. And this is what we're coming into, that glory. That glory is what we're coming into. Let's get this. Let me jump down. Let me get this in the Apocrypha real quick. Yeah, the brother's lesson, it was very inspirational. You know, very inspirational, man. And I figured through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, now I ride off that brother's energy, man. Lord willing, bring out some edification. Write the Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. In verse 15, it reads, but the righteous live forevermore, man. The righteous starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. See? Because don't get it twisted. In the kingdom of heaven, all of our people are going to be righteous. And that, that can be proven if you simply go to, um, uh, what's that? The book of, I, I want to say that's the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 60, down at the bottom. It says, all thy people shall be righteous, man. You see? So at the end of the day, all of our people are going to be righteous. But this is starting with the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the most high. And that's what Yahweh Shai is bringing when he comes. He's bringing the reward, man. Hey, and we want to take part of that first resurrection. Hey, but if we have to be born into the kingdom through the loins of the elect, so be it. Because us as a nation as a whole still coming into glory. No matter how the cookie crumbles. Hey, but we want to be part of that elect. You know, we want to be part of that one third. Lord willing, that's Akiyama, part of that one um, 44. You know, Abba Ratazah. 
But it's a blessing to be an Israelite in general, man. And that can be that that's that's um that can be proven. What's that? Is that Psalms uh thirty three and twelve? Goes into that blessed is the nation whose power is the Lord. See? So we're coming into glory, Akiyam and Akwa. You know, us, our nation as a whole, starting with the elect. Let's continue on. Therefore, shall they receive a glorious kingdom. And this is what we want. This is what we're coming into. That glorious kingdom. That perpetual kingdom. Where we're going to be immortal. We're going to have sovereignty. We're going to have rest. We're going to have power. And a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. See? And this is going to be uh, a reality, man, in the eon to come. See? And the majority of you, Jake, that call yourselves Israelites, you know, don't even understand this concept. And we know this because how you move, man. Your foundation is, of, is the way of this world. You know, scripture says you should know a man by his fruit, man. Look how you moving. Look at your mindset. See, your mindset is not on heavenly things. See? You truly don't understand the power, you know, that we serve, man. Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. Is going to put Yasha Allah at the top in the eon to come. And that, hey, that time is close. We're coming into that time. We are at the very end of this thing. Yahweh Ba Shimi Shai is about to do things that none of these people ever thought would happen. <laughs> okay? Those that were never thought of. Uh, but to wear the crown, man. Those that we never thought of, man. As a matter of fact, let's go here. Uh, what's that? Micah 4. In verse 1, and it reads, But in the last days, and we are in the last days, man. You see? But we're coming into this point right here. But in the last days, it shall come to pass, see, prophecy, that the mountain, right, which is a government, mountains goes into uh, governments, larger governments, hills go into smaller ones, right? That the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established and the top of all, Salakia, so shall be established in the top of the mountain, see? Yasha Allah is going to be set on high. And it shall be exalted above the hills, which are smaller governments. See that? And people shall flow unto it. See? The children of Israel are going to be on top in the eon to come. Remember, Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This is what we're coming into. We're coming into that glory. Let's get a little bit more. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the power of Jacob, right? A so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And he will teach us of his ways, see? And we will walk in his paths. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, which is going to be the headquarters. Jerusalem is going to be the headquarters. All right. And again, the earth is going to be on a righteous vibration. When the day star arises, man, when the chief shepherd shall appear, man, which is who? Yahweh Shai. <laughs> and all this is going to be like a dream. It's going to be like a nightmare, man. And as a matter of fact, the beloved brother, uh, Kazakh Ban Yahweh, he had posted, um, what was that? Psalms 126 to back up that point. Beautiful precept. Let me get this real quick. Um, what was that? Psalms 126. The beloved brother Kazakh Ban Yahweh, the beautiful brother. 
Uh, let me see. Yah is right at the top, right? We'll close out here through the spirit if the spirit allows, right? The points, the points made, man. Hey, we got to lock in for those crowns. Hey, we got to lock in. You know, we're coming into glory, man. And only the, only the, you know, elect would do so. You know, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. You know, but for the majority, Jake is going to play around. You know, they're going to handle the, the, the word of the Lord uh, deceitfully. And ultimately, they're not going to make it, man, because they really didn't understand what they were involved in. And they're not going to be able to uh, sustain themselves in the times to come because they thought this thing was a game and their mindset was fixed on this world, on this current time. See? They weren't seeking the Lord in all truth and sincerity. Let's get this. The book of Psalms, chapter 126 and verse 1 and 2, and it reads, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, and Zion goes into what? In the Paleo-Hebrew, Tazayuan, which means memorial or monument. You see, it's another way of saying Jerusalem. When you look it up in the blue letter. We were like them that dream see this is going to be like a nightmare when we come into our glory let's get a little more then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing right singing with joy okay we got the victory we're gonna get the victory man over this demon then said they among the heathen the lord hath done great things for them Separation. <laughs> hey, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the nation of Israel is going to be glorified. And these heathen are going to see it. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakatha Yahawah, Barakatha Yahawah Shai, Kahalayim La Yahawah, Bahashem Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Shalom.